Hello, my name is Grian, and as you can see, Minecraft have added bees to the game. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> and they are so adorable. You can put them on leads, and they live in hives and create honey. All very nice for this 1.15 Minecraft snapshot. So in this snapshot, we've got a couple of new blocks, apart from the lovely little bees over there. We have the beehive and the bee nest. With these two blocks come a range of opportunities. So I've created a bunch of examples of how these blocks could be used in a building setting, but let's take a quick look at them. The beehive is by far the more interesting block. It's got a wooden texture and interestingly has exactly the same bottom as this one here, the bee nest. So they're identical on one side. It's got a nice tone to it, and it's got a wooden top as well, and it's got like this little letterbox thing on here. We're by far going to be focusing on this one. However, there is the bee nest, which is this striped yellow block here with strange holes in it. So both of these blocks are something that the bees will fly in and out of. However, we can use them in some building. So let's hop straight into it, shall we? Now, this is a little room with a couple of uses for the bee nest in particular. The first one is use as a lamp. It actually does look a lot like a lampshade, albeit a very strange color, but the texture works quite well if you put it on top of an end rod. And I've also put an oak pressure plate on the top as well. The bottom side of the bee nest, although exactly the same as the hive, has this really nice square texture that looks a lot like a log, but it differs in such a way that you can hang some lanterns or some lanterns on iron bars from the ceiling and it works quite well. And then over here, I'm not really sure why I did this. I've got a bee nest inside the wall as a bit of a decoration. It kind of looks like a painting. I don't know. I think it looks nice, even though I'm not quite sure what it is. So there's a few examples there, and I've got quite a few to get through, so I'm going to uh, continue on. Now, obviously, if you've got a bee nest, you can use it as a bee nest. So if you pop it on the scaffolding and maybe even put a pressure plate over the top, you've got yourself a pretty cool looking beehive, and you can pretty much do the same with the bee nest there as well. I'm probably gonna get the two very confused as I just did there, but speaking of using things as their intended purpose, if you take a bee nest and make a bigger bee nest out of it, you get what looks like a very intimidating looking beehive, a massive one that you could hang from a giant tree or something like that. With lots of bees flying around, it would look very, very impressive. Moving on to the next one. This is a little bit on the strange side, I will admit, but the bee nest can be used as a wallpaper, maybe from the 70s and maybe looking a little bit strange. It's a very odd color scheme, but because this block is actually directional, meaning that it will turn as you move around, you can create some patterns. As you can see, I've got the, the bee holes here. They sort of go up in a diagonal fashion, giving it a bit of a pattern there. It is very bright in here, but it does mimic the painting on here, the yellow beds and the color of the lanterns. And then you can obviously decorate this as you like. And then I've also used the bee nest up here as well, again, to hang lighting from. And it all kind of works, albeit not sure I would choose this wallpaper in my Minecraft house. Moving on, I did want to highlight this, although it seems to highlight itself because the bee nest, the top of the bee nest is pretty intense, I've got to admit. I'm not sure I would use this particularly well in lots of, you know, flooring situations. However, I can imagine maybe in specific circumstances you may want a bit of a brighter floor. But I thought I'd show you this anyway in case you wanted to use it as a floor block. Moving on, we're now going to move on predominantly to the beehive, which I feel is the more useful block out of the two. So this is a storage room that we have here, and if you can see past the fact that they are beehives, I actually think they look a lot, and I mean a lot, like cardboard boxes full of files. So I created a storage room here, and it's very easy to imagine that if you opened one of these up, there'd be loads of paper inside, stacked on top of each other in such a way, and then having a desk with a chair in here. I can very easily see this being as some sort of filing administration room. 
Moving on, we have ourselves the beehive as a letterbox. If you popped one of these outside your house, then you could put a sign with your um, with your address on it, number 12 Subscribe Road, and well, thank you very much. You could even put a pressure plate on the top, and it actually does look like a letterbox, even if you can't actually open it. Bit annoying, but it actually does look really, really cool because of this little slit here. Moving on, the back of this block, this is also a directional block, meaning that it moves. If you just hide that little line there, you actually get a very nice structured block that matches with oak in particular. And this is a nice little interior wall design that you can use with it either on the bottom or the top. And because of this like little texture here, it looks like they actually connect up really, really nicely. And overall, it gives a lot of detail to a room without actually giving anything other than the block itself. It's very, very nice. Moving on, we've got a similar design where we're actually using the top of the beehive. Now, the top of the beehive is actually a little bit lighter than oak and actually the rest of the block. However, it does look really soft and it's very, very nice to have as a floor. And it, again, it's directional, so you can mix and match how you want these to interact with each other and also you can use the bee nest as a foundation block for many of your walls again it does look very strange with the yellow but it, it is an option and i'm sure people will find a way to use this in their wall designs next up we've got these uh, beehives as storage as little cardboard boxes again but i've actually got a better version of this a little later on that we're going to go over but you can see very nicely how they sit on top of shelves Again, because this looks like a wooden box or a cardboard box, it can be used in various scenarios, such as this, which it actually looks like a potted plant. This fits quite nicely into the corner of any room. You put a cactus inside a clay pot, a couple of leaves on top, and the whole thing together works brilliantly together. Now this, you might be wondering, what on earth is this? You've just got, you've just got an oak fence gate in front of a beehive. Well, the only way that you can tell what this is, is by crouching, because it's Bee Man. <laughs> it's just a bit of a goof, but because of that little, that little line there, you got yourselves a superhero beehive. Moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next one, a slightly more serious one. We have the beehive as a table. If you just cover up that little line by directionally placing it, you can cover that up and it all connects nicely to give yourself a rather solid looking table that you can add some chairs onto as well. And the same goes for this bed design. Because of the texture of this, it works really well just as, just as a solid block. A couple of signs on the side of this block gives it a little bit of depth. Now I said earlier that it worked well as a cardboard box, so I thought I would demonstrate this in a slightly bigger build so you can get what I'm saying. Now this actually could be just a beehive room, but Imagine that like you're storing a load of files, you've got like an underground vault or something. You could store them like this. Obviously they don't actually open, you can't access these, or at least in this snapshot. But if you store them in such a way, it really does look like they've been stacked up. Especially if you actually made this only one thick as well. You could have lots of lines of these and it would look really, really impressive. Especially if you just lit it up very subtly with lanterns or something like that. Next up, we've got a furniture design. So a chest of drawers was one of the things that immediately came to my mind when I got to look at this beehive, just because of this lovely texture on the front. Adding an oak slab along with a couple of signs gives it the impression that you've pulled out one of these drawers and that it has remained open. Or you could just leave it completely flat and it's just a bit of furniture on its own. Additionally, this block is so well textured, and I'm going to tell you how well it is textured throughout this video, that you can use it just as a detail block in your building. It doesn't have to specifically be for a bit of furniture, but you can see here that it's been added into the support structure of this example building front, and the texture just gives it this really, really nice effect without having to overcomplicate it with, with slabs or buttons or anything like that. It just looks nice on its own, especially with a back-facing lectern in there as well. So you can get really creative with the use of this block mixed in with the all the kinds of oak that you can get, whether it's stripped oak log or planks or whatever it may be. Moving on, you can make a chair out of it. We're going from total creativity to making furniture again. 
because of the way it looks with this like line at the front, it looks like it could easily be the seat of a chair. So even though it hasn't got that gap underneath that most of our chair designs have, you could just add a couple of things like the spruce door and the trap door, and you got yourself a really nice chair. Moving on now, I wanted to show you a bedroom design where the beehive and the and the bee nest is actually used in a real life example. Well, I guess it's not real life, this is a Minecraft example, but you get my point. You can use it in the floor, as I've showed you earlier. You could use it as a side table, because it works and you could use it actually as a drawer within a piece of furniture along with the bee nest as a lampshade so putting all of those together you actually get a really nice effect and i don't see them as the beehive or the nest just as what they're intended to be moving on again you can make some more furniture designs here we have a nice writing desk because these look like drawers. This is such a versatile block. That's exactly why I had to make this video. It looks like a letter box, a cardboard box, a wooden box. It looks like a pair of drawers that can be opened next to a desk. This block is absolutely fantastic. And the same over here. You could just replace that middle block with a lectern, add a book, and you've got yourself an actual functioning Minecraft desk. And a final few designs, this is a beehive on top of a scaffolding, which we showed earlier. And you could even mix them in multiple to show that you've got like a stack of these beehives, but only some of them are there. These ones have been taken out to be harvested. And for some reason, the leads disappeared on this. I don't know whether this is a bug, but if you uh, add loads of bees and then tie them to a post, they actually, the leads disappear and they just fly around. So if you wanted to keep some around, but you don't want them all flying off, maybe consider this and then hiding the, the fence post. I don't know if this is going to work in the future. All of this is uh, subject to change, of course, even the textures. I cannot be sure that they will remain the same in the future. Now for something really creative. So what we've got here is beware there's an electrical fence. So obviously this isn't actually electrical, but it does look like a fence, a metal fence, and could potentially have electricity running through it. But how do we see that it's got electricity through it? Well, we can't, but we can hear it. If you get close, you can hear a buzzing. A really faint buzzing. The same kind of buzzing you might see or hear when you go near an electrical fence. So this is really, really cool. If you want to give your builds an actual tangible effect such as this one, then this sort of thing makes a really big difference. Obviously nothing happens, I don't get hurt. We did theorize that you could put some puffer fish here, but it would be difficult. So you guessed it, underneath here, there's a bunch of bees. And there's a lot of bees to give you that buzzing effect, but it could be a pain getting those bees to stay where you want them to stay. And if you have these trap doors, they actually just get stuck in there, so you can keep them just below your electric fence. This is probably one of the most creative uses of bees in this video. And finally, our final design is as a moving crate. Obviously, I've already said that they look like boxes, and they do, but if you put them in different scenarios, you can see them as totally different things. So in the back of this moving truck that we've made here, we've got a bunch of boxes that are going with it. So overall, the beehive and the bee nest are fantastic additions to our building library. You can use the bees as sounds or you could use them just as pets. But there are so many options with these two blocks. I feel like I could even come up with a few more of these because these blocks are really are quite special. And if you don't want to use these as building blocks, then you can always just use them as beehives. Please do let me know in the comments below which particular design, whether it was Bee Man or just the use of it as the floor, which is your favorite in the comments. Please do let me know as it is very, very interesting. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some inspiration. I can't wait for the 1.15 update where we will actually see this, these two blocks and more in the future. It'll be fun to use these in our Minecraft worlds, but it's always good to have a little look at the snapshots to see how these could be used in the future, get some inspiration, and maybe even suggest how these could be improved. Thank you very much for watching, and good bye!